Sesame Street, show number 132 in color. fingers you see? Huh? One by one. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, over there. How many kids do you see? One. Two. You see three. You see four. How many comic books? One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, everybody quiet. Quiet, 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 quiet. Listen for car horns, and we'll count them. That's one. Two. It's a third car. Four. One. One. Two. again. One, One two, 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 three, three four. four. Yay! What's the score? Four. That's a bore. <laughs> now it's your turn. One, One two, two, three, three, three four. four. Beautiful. Ooh. Now count these. How many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? <laughs> now, how many are there? Four! Yay! All right, everybody, let's really hear it. Let's have four big cheers for the number four. Here we go. Hip, hip, hip hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! Wait a minute, wait a minute. How many was that? Uh, seven, yeah, maybe. Two, uh, huh? I lost track. Uh, well, I tell you what. Let's, let's just start all over again. Here we go, man. Four big cheers for the number four. Hip, hip, hip hooray! 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think that was more than four. No, I believe that was less than I four. I thought it was just right. I don't care. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We want to give four big cheers for the number four, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. okay. Now, there are four of us here. One, two, three, four. Right? Yes, right. Yes. Yes. Right. Two, yes. yes. Right, okay. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll each give one big cheer, and that will make four big cheers all together. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's so crazy, it just might work. Okay, then. Here we go. Let's have four big cheers for the number four. Here we go. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Yeah! Yeah! We got it! We got it! How's he doing, Mary? He's doing okay. Oh, Chris, may I borrow your roller skates? 
for a minute. You know what? I bet you don't know what I'm going to do with this roller skate. Yes, I do. You do? You think I'm going to skate myself? No. I know a roller skating song. Why don't you sit down here and we'll sing it together? Hi. Hi. Do you know the roller skating song? Nope. Well, this is a song about a roller skate. It's about a lot of other things, too. wooden chair standing on the floor. How many legs has his wooden chair? Four. It has four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Let's everybody count them. How many people are sitting here? Let's count and tell the score. Well, there's one, two, three, and then there's Rico. How many does that make? Four. 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 sent two guessing games. One game is the country, and the other game is the city. But in shipment and sending it to me, the two boxes broke up and uh, they all got mixed up. What's supposed to go where? So maybe you could help me out and we which to put in what scene, the country or the city, huh? All right. Now, I have here a, a silo and a barn. Now, where would that go? Well, a silo and a barn is most of the time in the city. No, 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 in the country, right? Maybe you find one or two in the city, huh? So, we'll put it in the country. Okay, now, uh-uh, it didn't stay. Maybe it feels it doesn't belong, but we know a silo in the barn belongs in the country, right? Now we have a taxi. Where would a taxi go? Well, most of the taxis are in the city, aren't they? Right, lots of taxi. But they do go to the country, don't they? So where should we put a taxi? I'd say we put the taxi in the city, huh? All right, I hope you agree with me. We'll take the taxi and put it in the city, all right? Here we are. Now, I have a tractor. Well, tractors really go to the country, don't they, huh? Well, you might find one or two around the city, but most of the time they're in the country digging up the fields, huh? Right, 
All right, we'll put it in the country. A tractor in the country. Yes. Here we go with the tractor in the country. Good. All right. Now I have left a dog. <laughs> That's easy. A dog, well, the dog usually... We find dogs in the city. Yes, we also find dogs in the country. But uh, the country has two already, and the city only has one. So we'll put the dog in the city, right? Now, wait a minute. This dog has no leash. Well, and not only that, a dog really loves the country, likes to run around in the field, in the grass, huh? And a dog is much happier in the country. We'll put him in the country. There we are. You helped me out putting all this where it belongs. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, yeah. Once again, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, yeah. What's the score? Four. That's a bore. <laughs> now it's your turn. One, two, two, three, three, four, four. Beautiful. Now count these. One, two, three, four. Now, how many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? Four. Very good. How many is this? Now, how many are there? Four! Yay! Here's a regular ball. Here's a big ball. Here's a bigger ball. And here is the biggest ball. Hi. They call me Little Bird, but I'm pretty big. Eh, you're pretty big. You're big, all right, but I am bigger. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you may be big, and you may be bigger. Yeah? But you know who's the biggest? Yeah, uh, who? Me. You? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're you not big. So? You've got a lot of mean? fur. Now, listen, I'm bigger packages. than you, too, you know. Yeah, 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 short stuff. Yeah. Yeah, what? I'm short stuff? I'm big. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What's that? Why? Wait. You are big. Yeah. And you are bigger. That's right. And you may be the biggest. Right. The biggest I've ever seen, but not bigger than Wendy. Dum -de -dum -dum. Who's peeking out from under a stairway Calling a name that's lighter than air That's me Who's bending down to give me a rainbow Everyone knows it's windy Hey kid, here's your rainbow <laughs> Yeah, thanks Nothing Who's tripping down the streets of the city Ooh. Smiling at everybody she sees Hello. Who's reaching out to capture a moment Gotcha Everyone knows it's windy Hey, kid, tell him about my eyes. And Wendy has stormy eyes that flash at the sound of life. How about my wings? And Wendy has wings to fly above the clouds. That's right, up there. Above the clouds. Yeah, and my wings are beautiful. Hey, kid, now tell me the truth, okay? Uh-huh. Who's tripping down the streets of the city? Oh, you are. Smiling at everybody she sees. That's you all over. Who's reaching out to capture a moment? Oh, everyone knows it's you, Wendy. Aha! Uh -huh. Stand clear. Here I go. Zoom! Wow. Look at her go. Wendy has 
stormy eyes that flash at the sound of light. Oh boy. That windy head wings to fly wow. above the clouds. Oh no, I ain't going up there again. Above the clouds. Not me. Oh, my back. Windy? Yeah. You okay? Oh, I don't know. This is an apple. This is a big apple. This is a bigger apple. And this is the biggest apple of all. One, two, three, four apples. <clears throat> uh, one apple, please. I can have uh, one. One. Uh, one apple, yes. Uh huh. All right, sport. Here. Oh, come to think of it, uh, Joe and Mary are stopping by tonight. Make that three apples. Three? Three, yeah. Uh, just give me two more. Two more. There you go. That's three. Uh-huh. Uh, wait a minute. Mary doesn't like apples. Oh, she doesn't? No, you can take one back. I'll just take two. Take one back. Uh, there you are. Two apples. Hold it, uh -huh. hold it. Uh, if they bring those two kids, I'll need two more apples. Give me two more apples. Two more apples. One, two. That makes um, uh, uh, four. Uh, four. Uh, on second thought, uh, Mary's, Mary's mother has taken care of the kids, so you can take away the two for the kids. Joe and Mary wouldn't bring the kids with Mary's mother there. Oh, you're right. Sure. Uh, that's two apples. Uh, hold it. Huh? Give me three more. Might as well send them home to Grandma and the kids. <laughs> Add three more, and we now have um, uh, three, four, five apples. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what am I thinking? I don't know. Mary's mother has false teeth. Sure. She couldn't eat an apple, could she? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, she of course could. not. <laughs> Take one away. Yeah, and the kids will be asleep when Joe and Mary arrive. Sure. Uh, forget the two for the kids. Forget uh, the two. Yeah, oh, and take back one more. One I'll, more. I'll just take one apple and split it with Joe. I'm not very hungry. You did. Well, like on second thought. Here, I... here. Have an apple. It's a present from me. If I had two apples and somebody gave me one more, one would fall to the floor because I've only got two hands. And if you only got two hands, you can't hold three apples unless you have two small apples and one big apple. If you have three small apples, you could probably hold three small apples and have room enough for another apple in your other hand if it's a big apple. If it's a small apple, you could probably put two, which would make two and three is five apples. Then you could smoosh them all together and you could have applesauce, but you would get it all over the front of your shirt. Aren't these beauties? Oh, apples taste very nice this time of the year. I always try to have nice fruit and vegetables for everyone in the neighborhood. That's a gross's job. You know, there are all kinds of interesting people that live right around your neighborhood, like, oh, the postman and the policeman. Hey, did you and, order these uh, groceries here? Oh, hi there. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Yeah, these are your groceries. Have you got sir. everything I ordered? The, no, uh, uh, no. How about the parsley? No, we didn't have the parsley. Oh, you didn't uh, have the parsley. No, we brought some other stuff instead, though. Well, what'd you bring instead? Well, let's see, I brought some uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Yes, and all I got right. some turnip greens. Turnip greens. I got yeah. some kale. Kale? Yes, we were having a big sale on kale. Oh, a big kale sale. You've heard about it. I've heard about it. Yes, indeed. Well, well I brought you a lot of that. Hey, listen, I was just talking about some of the people that lived around our neighborhood. And, you were? Uh, yeah. What'd as you say? long as you look uh, sort of like, uh, well, you know, a grocer, one of those people around the neighborhood, why, why don't we do that song about the people in your neighborhood? Well, I'd rather not, actually. Oh, come on. It's a nice song. Well, okay, but you oh. start off. All right, I'll start off. Well, now. Who are the people in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood? Say, who are the people in your neighborhood, the people that you meet each day? As long as you look like the grocer, why don't you tell us what a grocer does? Okay. All right? Oh, a grocer sells the things you eat, like cereal and cheese and meat. Whatever food you're looking for, you're sure to find it in my store. Because a grocer is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. He's in your neighborhood. A, a grocer, grocer is a person in your neighborhood. A person that you meet each day. Well, nice to see you. Oh, I know who you are. Yeah, hi, Bob. You're the doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, a doctor works the whole day long 
to keep you feeling well and strong. But if by chance you're feeling sick, I'll try to make you well real quick. Because a doctor is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. He's in your neighborhood. And, and a grocer is a person in your neighborhood. You tell him, grocer. The people that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet each day. I have seen some good-looking apples in my life, but those are the best-looking apples I've ever seen. Mr. Hooper, where'd you get them? I hear you. I Look hear you. Look at those apples. Yeah. Red, right, firm, right, juicy. Right, oh, right. wow. <laughs> I think I'll take one. Good, good, good. Matter of fact, I have a dime right here. Is that Thank covered? You. Is that covered? Let them take care of it. Okay, for good, you. good. Well, apples. Good. Listen, let me explain to you something. Just gave Mr. Hooper a dime. I'm going to tell you how money works in this neighborhood. Not in every neighborhood, but in this neighborhood. Now, I work this hard job. I'm a teacher every day. They pay me for working. Susan has a job. She's a nurse. They pay her for working. Susan comes home with her paycheck, and I come home with my paycheck. We get our money, put it together, then we go buy the things we need. We buy food. We buy clothes. We buy everything that we need with that money. Then, all of a sudden, I come down the street, I look at Mr. Hooper's apples, and I say, what good apples? And I swing into my pocket, I pull out a dime, I give it to Mr. Hooper, and then Mr. Hooper has money to buy the things that he needs. Do you understand that? Isn't that simple? That's the way it goes. The only problem that you have is when you're being a teacher, well, sometimes you don't have enough money. You know what I mean, Mr. Hooper? Ah, uh, that's a big trick for anyone, Gordon. Where are you going? I'm going to the store. I've got some money, see? Wow, you've got five. I've only got one, you see? You've got just as much as I have. That's a nickel. It's worth five pennies. It is? Sure. How many you have doesn't matter as much as what they're worth. Oh, come on, let's go. Look down there. That's a dime. That's worth as much as everything we've got. I'm too big. You try. A dime, huh? How much do you say it's worth? It's like ten pennies like mine or two nickels like yours. Wow. Share and share like okay. You found it, but I got it. Okay, let's go. Hey, Joe, you can't put a nickel in the penny slot. You have to get change first. Change? What's that? We'll give the store man our dime, and he'll give us five pennies and a nickel. Then we'll both have five pennies and a nickel. I think this is getting pretty complicated. No, it isn't. I'll show you. Pardon me, mister? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Would you give us change for this dime? Change for a dime, eh? Uh, I think I can take care of that. Change for a dime. Okay. You want ten cents in change. Here's five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. That's five cents. And a nickel, which is also five cents. For a total of ten cents. Change for a dime. Thank you. I think I'll spend my pennies first. I think I'll spend my pennies first, too. What do you think I should do with this one, George? I don't know. It's your penny. I know. I'll get an ice cream. With a penny? Ice cream costs 10 cents. A one and a zero, that's 10 cents. Oh, you mean we can't get an ice cream? Sure we can. I still got a nickel, right? And you still got a nickel, right? Two nickels is 10 cents. Great. Hey, it won't fit. The machine only takes dimes. 
So if we give the store man both our nickels, he'll give us a dime. We'll be giving him change. You've got it. What kind of ice cream do you want? A fudge sickle. Fudge sickle coming up. Hey, George, I almost forgot. I still have a penny left. Come on, Joe. You could save it for tomorrow. Hey, maybe if we hunt around tomorrow, we'll find another dime or maybe even more money than that. Could be, Joe. Could be. All right, Ernie. Good night, Bert. Hey, Bert. Bert? Mm. Hey, Bert, you know, I really like squares. Do you like those squares, Bert? You know, the square has four sides, four corners, and all the corners are the same, you know? All the sides are the same length, too. I really think that's neat about squares, don't you, Bert? Yeah. You know, neat squares. Of course, rectangles are pretty neat, too. You like rectangles, Bert? Yeah, they're probably not as nice as squares, though, you know, because two sides are longer than the other two sides, you know. You know corners are still the same. You know, corners, are, corners are still the same as squares, Bert. Sides aren't, though. <clears throat> oh, sides aren't the same. I think squares are better, probably. All right, Bert. Triangles. Triangles, of course, have have three sides. Triangles have three sides. It's corners. Corners of triangles. See, corners of triangles are pointier than on the squares, you know. I think I still prefer the squares. Yeah, squares. Squares are better, Bert. <sighs> Don't you think so, Bert? But uh, on the other hand, hey Bert. Hey Bert. Thinking about circles, Bert. How, how many sides does a circle have, Bert? I mean, does a circle have one side, or does it have lots of sides, or, or does it have no sides at all? Oh, well, Bert, how many sides does a circle have, Bert? <laughs> oh, well, good night, Bert. Circle. Well, I think a circle has, no, I mean, it has no sides. No, it could have some sides, Ernie. I... Ernie? Ernie? Hmm. Circles. Hello there, boys. Hello. Hi. Do you know what this is? No. What? It's the letter A. No. What? Would you like to hear a story about the letter A, boys? Well, I got a bus to catch. And I got to go feed my pet elephant. Very well, then. Watch this. 
A is for apple, and also for ant, who tries to climb up it, but finds that he can't. Darn it! I'm hungry! A is for arrow, that flies through the air, and slices the apple while it's sitting there. A is for Archer, who claims his reward with the help of a bag and a big silver sword. A is for Ant again, chasing his foe and finally biting him on the big toe. Wow! Now A is the Ant racing off with the bag, causing the Archer to say, What a drag! Well, boys, that was a story about the letter A. What did you think of it? Groovy. Fine. And do you know what the moral of the story was, boys? Yeah. Archers who steal ants' apples get bitten on the ankle. What do you mean, ankle? He was bitten on the toe. Yeah, but toe doesn't begin with a letter A. Good thinking, child. I wonder what letter toe does begin with. It's a mystery. May I present you with an A? Uh, hello. I'm talking to you from high atop the letter A. A looks like an upside-down V with a line across the middle. You can see that right here. A is the first letter in the alphabet and the first letter in many words, such as apple, Anchor, apron, uh, automobile, animals, and uh, A is also first in arrow. Watch it, will you? Put a thumbs on that thing. Airplane. Accordion. Ash can. Let's see. I uh, I had one more A around here somewhere. Can't uh, think of it right now. That's it. Avalanche. And you can add one more word to that list, of course, if you care to. Ambulance. there, boys. Hello. Hi. Do you know what this is? No. What? It's the letter A. No. What? Would you like to hear a story about the letter A, boys? Well, I got a bus to catch. And I got to go feed my pet elephant. Very well, then. Watch this. A is for apple, and also mm. for ant, who tries to climb up it, but finds that he can't. Darn it. I'm hungry. A is for arrow that flies through the air and slices the apple while it's sitting there. A is for Archer, who claims his reward with the help of a bag and a big silver sword. A is for Ant again, chasing his foe and finally biting him on the big toe. Wow! Now A is the Ant racing off with the bag, causing the Archer to say, what a drag! Well, boys, that was a story about the letter A. What'd you think of it? Groovy. Fine. And do you know what the moral of the story was, boys? Yeah. Archers who steal ants' apples get bitten on the ankle. What do you mean, ankle? He was bitten on the toe. Yeah, but toe doesn't begin with a letter A. Good thinking, child.
Hey. 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 Hey! Hey! This is a capital A. But this is a small A. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the capital letter A. Next to it is the small letter A. Many words begin with this letter. Alligator, for instance. An alligator is an American reptile, similar to the crocodile, but having a shorter and flatter head. They have also been known to be extremely dangerous. This is a small A. And this is a capital A. Now you just had a big dose of the letter A, right? Well, here's another letter A, a small A. Look at that little A, see it? And here is the letter N. There's a small N. What happens if you put them together? Huh? It makes the sound AN, just like that. It's the same sound that you hear in the word man, man, right? And it's the same sound you hear in fan, fan. That's right, fan. It's the same sound you hear in the word can, can. That's right, it's the same sound you hear in the word pan, pan. You see? Now after fan and can and man and pan, You'd like to hear a story about a man named Dan. Well, I can't give you a story about a man named Dan, but I can give you a story about a man named Herbert Birdsfoot. Hi, Herbert Birdsfoot here. Today, I'd like to show you my very latest invention. I call it my Monster Smart Tester. Uh, it's a test because the monster has to figure out how to get the cookies. Now, I'm going to tell you how it works. 
Now, here's a plate of cookies. As we know, monsters love cookies. We cover the plate of cookies with this clear cover, so the monster can see the cookies, but he can't eat the cookies. Now, here's how we test how smart the monster is. The rope is attached to the cover here, then goes up through this pulley, and down to here through this pulley, up here through that pulley, and down to here. So, when the monster pulls this, it lifts the cover, so the monster can eat the cookies. Now, watch this. We pull the rope here, causing it to lift the cover, so the monster can get the cookies. Now, let's see if a monster is smart enough to figure out how it works. Shh, here comes a monster now. Enough, I pull rope. Nothing. Look at that. The cover go up. How'd that cover go up? Huh? It's down now. The cover is down now. Hey, wait. I do that. I do that with the rope. I pull the rope up like that, and the cover. No, I pull the rope down, yeah, and the cover go up. And I let the rope go, and the cover go down. And I pull the rope down, and the cover go up again. Boy, I'm pretty smart. I do that all by myself. Wow. Monster think that good way to get cookie. Yeah. Monster think of... Better way to get cookie. Hey, yeah! Why? Oh, why? Oh, cookie, 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 cookie. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 you want to do something? Want to play a game? You got to want to get. Wait, 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 wait. Can't play it yet. Can't play it yet. Hey, Mrs. Callahan! You want to knock off the radio? Just do me a favor. Knock it off for a minute. That, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Callahan. She's a nice lady. You know, anything I say, she'll do it for a minute. You can, you can put it on again in a minute, OK? The reason I had to get the radio out of the way was because uh, we have this game to play, and it, it's all about listening. Listening. Listening? OK, listening. And um, what I want you to do is listen, and you tell me what you hear. Okay? Now here's the first one, and listen. What is it? What is it? What? 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 A train. What? A what? A train. A train. A train. Oh, a train. Train. Both know it's a train. That was a train. Here's another one. Listen. A violin. Oh, well, I remember when you used to call that a fiddle. Yeah, that's a <laughs> violin, right? Okay. Here's another one. Listen. A, a easy, plane, easy, a easy, plane, easy, a plane, easy, a easy. Plane, oh, a, plane, a, plane, a plane. A plane. A plane. It's a helicopter. It's a helicopter? No. A plane. Hey, no, but you might be right, though. You know why? Because you heard something that didn't sound like a jet plane, right? Oh, you smart, Chris. You too, Vanessa. Here's one more. Listen. Mrs. Callahan's music. Mrs. Callahan's radio. Okay. All right, Mrs. Callahan, it's all yours. Take it away, Mrs. Callahan. We love you. Go ahead. Come in. How do you do, sir? May I help you? Yes, you can. I, I was wondering if I can use your... You see, I was out riding in my... Because I wanted to take my little...
out to the country and show him a... and a... and a... and a... But I had to. Because a... was crossing the road. So when I went to go, I couldn't get... So I... to your house, and now I'd like to use your... to call the garage to fix my car. Uh, 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 I hate to ask you this, but uh, would you mind saying that again just a little more slowly? Oh, no, I don't mind at all. I was wondering if I can use your... You see, I was out riding in my... Because I wanted to take my little... out to the country and show him a... and a... and a... and a... But I had to, because a was crossing the road. Then when I went to go, I couldn't get. So I, to your house, and now I would like to use your, to call the garage to fix my car. Oh, uh, uh, nothing personal, sir, but, you know, you do speak a little strangely. But now I think I am beginning to understand. Uh, how about saying it one more time, and I'll say it along with you to make sure I get it, okay? Okay. Well, I was wondering if I can use your... Telephone. Right. You see, I was out riding in my... Uh, riding in your automobile. Because I wanted to take my little... Baby. Out to the country and show him a... Chicken. And a... Cow. And a... Horse. And a... Pig. But I had to... Stop the car. Because a... Train? Was crossing the road. But when I went to go, I couldn't get... The engine started again. So I... Walked? To your house. And now I would like to use your... Telephone. To call the garage to fix my car. Phew. Well, sir, of course you can use my... To call the garage to fix your car. Say, are you making fun of the way I talk? Oh, I know. I just... Uh... Well, if that's the kind of guy you are, I'll just go use someone else's. Gee, he didn't have to... The door.
Yeah, but I'm hungry. Yeah, but, but, but I don't care if you're hungry. You see, this is my sandwich, and you can't have any of it. Yeah, but I haven't had any lunch at all, and if I had a sandwich, I'd give you half. Well, but, but, but if I give you half, neither one of us would have enough to eat. Half a sandwich isn't any kind of lunch. Uh, uh, excuse me, kid. Hey, you guys. Yeah? I couldn't help overhearing you, but you know what you really should do, don't you? What? Well, you should share. You should give him your half of the sandwich so that he won't be hungry. But, but, but it's my sandwich. If, if I give him half, then I only have half. Well, you know, it's the nice thing to do is if you have something you can share and somebody else doesn't have something, you should share and share alike. Well... All right, you, I'll have this half, and you can take that half there, okay? There. Okay. There, now everyone's happy. Gee, oh, it sure is nice to be able to settle people's problems and make everything all right. Hmm. Hey, uh... Hey, I think I'll have my lunch here. Hey, big bird? Oh, uh, oh, uh, hi, little bird. Hi. I'm just going to have my bird seed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see you got some great-looking bird seed there. Oh, hmm. Mm, it's very good, yes. Gee, I sure am hungry. Huh? You hungry? Oh, uh, well, uh, this is my bird seed. Gee, I haven't had any bird seed in I don't know how long. Yeah, but if I give you any of my bird seed, I won't have enough for... I... Ooh. <laughs> I just discovered something. Huh. It's a lot easier to hand out advice than to hand out bird seed. Oh, go ahead, little bird. Oh. Dig right in. Oh, there. thank you. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, oh. oh boy. Yeah, it's time for my nap. Oh, my tired. Ah. Yeah, this. Yeah. 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 No. Hey, bird. Oh, bird. Oh, buddy, bird. Hey, bird. Bird, where are you, bird? Oh. Hmm. Gee. You know, it is just possible that my old buddy, bird, here is asleep. For one thing, He's lying down, which he usually does when he is asleep. For another thing, his eyes are closed. And for another thing, he's not answering me when I talk. So old buddy Bert is probably asleep. But I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Note how I can poke old buddy Bert in the stomach and he doesn't complain. Now when old buddy Bert is awake and I poke him in the stomach, he complains. Hmm. Oh, looky here. Note, note how floppy and soggy like old Buddy Bert's arm is. Yeah. When old Buddy Bert is awake, he's not floppy and soggy like. So, I am quite certain that old Buddy Bert is very definitely asleep. Uh, on the other hand, now his eyes are open. 
my old buddy Bert's eyes are usually open only when he is awake, so he's probably awake, but I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Now poke. cut that out. See, I was right. He's awake. Ernie. Yeah? Why did you wake me up? Did I wake you up, old buddy? Yes, you did. See, I was right. First he was asleep, now he is awake. Ernie, why'd you wake me up? Um, uh, let's see, uh, oh, because I have something very important to tell you. What's that? Well, you see, I just looked at the clock. So? It's time for your nap. <laughs> oh, sleep tight. <laughs> Boy, we sure had a lot of fun today, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. Uh, you know what I liked? I liked the big letter A. Oh, yeah. Hey, how about the number four? We had a lot of four stuff today. Oh, yeah, we mustn't forget the, the number four. Right, right. Here it is. Yeah. And, uh, oh, speaking of numbers, yeah. we learned to count up to 20. Oh, we sure did. Hey, you want to count? Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, <laughs> one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right. <laughs> and you know what else I learned? What? To share my bird seed. Yeah, mm. that's right. Hey, what was your favorite thing today? Uh, let's see. Um, I think it was where Ernie had that feller come visit him, and the feller opened his mouth, and he says... <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I think my favorite thing was watching all the children play. Do you like that? Oh, I always like the kids when they're playing. Yeah. Hey, we got to go now. Let's say goodbye, and we'll just watch the kids play a little bit. Okay, bye. Bye. Come again. Yeah. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter A and by the number four. Sesame Street has been a production of the Children's Television Workshop.